We are here with an old friend of ours for podcasts, Marty Storch, the Assistant Director of Metro Parks. Marty, you've been with us for several podcasts for several different subjects. Thanks but for having nothing us. Nothing as exciting as Passion for Pumpkins, Jack o' Lantern Spectacular, and Iroquois Park. Well said, well said. Tell us a little about why Metro Parks is producing this event and a little bit of what we can expect. Well, we're looking for a really nice South End event, first off, but we're really trying to raise some money for our, our parks. That's, that's the ultimate goal with our Parks Foundation. It's an event that they can put their arms around, really help, so we need people to come out. We need them to come out in droves to the Passion for Pumpkins because it will be nice and they'll get to see the, the remains, the remnants of what they do will be in this community for a long, long time. All right, well, I think we're going to take a walk with the guys that are actually going to build uh, this set for us and uh, get a little sneak peek of what it's all about. Now, if people are coming to this event, what can they expect to see when they take this path? They're going to see a lot of pumpkins lit up into different skits. Um, this is the beginning of the path. It's a journey around the world. What makes this one stand out and make it so much more unique than anything else I've ever seen? Well, we're not a scary event, first of all. We're a family-oriented event, and we illuminate pumpkins on an artistic level. We're not just doing traditional jack-o'-lanterns. We do ornate illuminated art show, is what this will be. So we'll have 150 pieces of art displayed throughout the month of October. We know while we've been walking this trail, Travis has been hard at work carving a UK or a U of L pumpkin. I, I think it's going to be a cardinal, but what would you pick? If it was UK or U of L, who you got to go with? I, my heart belongs to Louisville. There it is. There it is, folks. His heart belongs to Louisville. Well, you know, speaking of your heart being in Louisville, uh, tell us a little bit about this area. Well, this is going to be our tribute to Kentucky, so we will have the, uh, the basketball teams, some of the players here. We'll also have all the iconic figures of Love Louisville. What you want to do when you do this is I use a pen and make really light lines so nothing's too permanent but then what I'm going to do is go back with a permanent oil marker so it won't erase or smudge when I'm carving it and the, and the, and the juice from the pumpkin starts to run. Through this with the, with the negative or the black you create your dimensions and when you backlight it it creates this hologram illusion that it's actually like floating off the pumpkin like see when I use this side of the tool it makes softer cuts where it's taking off less of the skin whereas this side it's more pointed and cuts deeper but gives me a precise line which is great when you need a hard edge or if you're trying to create hair or feathers 